Here we are, down 20,000 leagues under the sea, in this strange and unusual underwater base, with only an army of submarines and the light that we can generate to show us what is around us. Are we alone down here? Are there some really creepy sea creatures? Well, stay tuned to find out. And we are going to not only survive the abyss, but we want to thrive in the abyss. Now, I want to say a big shout out and thank you to Paradox for sponsoring this video. You can find out more and get the game for yourself now that's launched using the link in the video description below. Now, one of the first things that we're going to need is a mining relay. We've got coal. There's all manner of resources down here. Quartz, iron, coal, scrap steel. Bits of the Titanic and other ships have probably fallen down here. Small, there's also concrete. Interesting. So, we're going to put a little mining buoy down here. And once that's up, we're just going to have some of our submarines, which we've got three miners to just mine. mine everything. Now, naturally, since we're underwater, there's going to be a couple things we need, especially when we're so reliant on light. Oxygen, for one, and power to generate light. And power to, well, keep us alive. So we're gonna build some coal generators. And once that's in place, we're gonna need to connect it via this underwater bridge and then run power lines. Oh look, it's a baby kraken. That's not ominous. <laughs> As that nears completion, we've got to remember that we are going to need oxygen, so let's put this beast into action. It's so cool to watch my underwater empire at work. Uh, it looks like the mining subs almost look like little sharks. These guys look like those little fish that get inside sharks. Oh, the little shrimp, you know, that clean their teeth. And these ones, I'm assuming, are transport, and they kind of remind me of, like, manta rays in a way. Transport submarines. Oh, whoops. Please go back to base. We don't need you here, unless you're showing people this creepy looking rosefish. Oh yeah, we're gonna eat some rosefish, don't you worry. So we've got oxygen, we've got coal generating power, and we've got these strange silhouettes of fish. But ultimately, when you look around us, there's all kinds of strange lights that I want to explore into. Is it just me, or the further we go out, the creepier everything gets? Well, there's our beacon of light in the abyss. We're gonna need food, but we don't have any buildings that will just produce food yet. We're gonna have to research it. Let's get a carb farm. We're gonna find underwater french fries. Well, either that or more than likely just eat seaweed which honestly seaweed is pretty delicious and i've actually had seaweed sprinkled french fries in singapore once and they're fantastic it was at a mcdonald's so here's our carb farm and i don't know how it works exactly but i'm thinking what we want to do is make our first circuit i wanted to say space station and yes sometimes it does feel like when you're underwater you're in space but our undersea station wait till i tell you why we were sent down here in the first place it's kind of ridiculous and amazing. We're producing low quality food. I mean, I guess basic seaweed is. Whoa, there was some weird bubbling and water stuff. That's my technical term we'll be using quite a bit is stuff is happening. We're gonna expand our operation by putting in crew quarters. Our mission log is going well. We're hitting our corporate objectives. Yes, corporate sent me down here. We have a little bit of coal, but ultimately we'll wanna find bigger supplies of it so we can power up a huge station. So in order to do that, it's time for a sonar tower. Look at this thing. We can plant it at the edge of our controlled space, which is basically our visible range from light. So we could expand that by creating a light tower here. Gosh, that's kind of far. Wait, does that mean we might not even be able to get our subs there? Can we get all the way out there? What happens if we go too far into the unknown of the abyss? Well, we're still close enough for now. Once this thing is done, what's it gonna light up? We've got a spider crab habitat? Oh, that's not creepy at all. What is this thing? What's Hello a there. fish? There's a lot of stuff glowing over here. So we're gonna need a sonar tower. Oh shoot, we've got a sea mines. Who put the sea mine? What are they worried about? Uh, let's send the exploration sub. But we don't have any exploration subs available. We've got this transport sub. We're gonna need to make a sub manufacturing device. <laughs> a sub factory. Let's create a little bit of a fuel stockpile. And I want this sonar thing kind of at the edge of our, well, empire of sorts. The more we build, the more power and oxygen and food we're gonna need though. It's gonna be a bit of a balancing act. Oh good, we're gonna be able to find oil down here. So now it's time to find, let's look for fuel. We're gonna send out fuel beacons, which are 
Sonar pings. We found some over here. This is a coal extraction point, so it's not terribly far away from us. So let's light it up. We also have this coal deposit here, but I think we're gonna need to research some new technology to get coal extraction. Our second light tower is completed, but our current demand on power exceeds our supply. We'll need more coal generation. So once this one's completed, we should be able to light up the abyss once more. And what do we get to see? Here's a giant coal deposit, infinite coal? Oh, that's fantastic. Let's unlock coal extraction using our handy dandy research and start extracting that. Then I can use my precious mining subs for other operations. Uh-oh, we've got a bit of a problem and it's called elevation. So let's see, oh, look at this. We can just create an elevator shaft and connect it to our main operations and voila. Now in hindsight, we may wanna move the coal generating power plants near the coal supply, but I'm not sure how much that's needed. Let's check on oxygen though. Four new crew members have arrived. Did they come in via submarine? Oh, that's cool. Welcome to um, your, your house. So we're still producing more oxygen than we need, but just by a little bit. Now we're gonna need to set up a research operation so that we can unlock new tech and expand further and faster. But it looks like we're running low on certain materials. We need scrap steel. I thought I saw some earlier. There's some right there. We're gonna have to take one sub from over here and get them on steel over there, but that should be doable. So let's see. How efficient is this coal power plant? Or rather this coal miner. So here it is. This is the whole reason we're down here. We're actually a cloning operation and it became a little faux pas to do it on the surface. Uh, people don't like the idea of you cloning. So the government and some secret corporate overlords stuck me in charge of this operation down here. We can't get in trouble if no one finds out about our underwater cloning operation. So what's kind of cool is you see the little green silhouettes of your men as they're working. So we've got three people in this coal extractor and we still have three people unemployed. So there's still work to be done. I really think we need to find steel. So let's go to our sonar and see if we can't pick up anything like that. Let's do resource beacon and put one like right here in the middle. We did find ore, small quartz glass. We'll just ping sort of everywhere in an area in a search grid. Oh man, lots of stuff is coming up. Okay, what do we got? Iron ore, scrap steel. Okay, that's good. Concrete, extraction of concrete, which is always good. Extraction is infinite resource production. Ooh, and an iron ore extraction point, an aluminum ore deposit. One of the other things that would be good is to, well, start harvesting these spider crabs. But I think we'd need research for that. So really the ultimate objective is to get this. We need more scrap steel. And here's a small one over here. Now if I put a relay buoy over here. Yeah, there we go. Will our submarine go out into the unknown? He will indeed. And he slightly lights up the area around him. There's one of those other mysterious sonar, like sonar pings. So we have 15 scrap steel. Well, a little bit more now. That means I can build a basic research lab, which we will need. Well, someone wants a birthday party, so take our food. I like the little random events that will pop up. Now we're starting to generate a lot more research so we can start unlocking some valuable things. I think one of the best things would be this coal efficiency upgrade. Now we need less coal to power more. With this alloy furnace, we'll be able to produce our own steel, we desperately need that. There's not too many, well, wrecked bits of human-made stuff down here other than those sea mines. I'm still very unnerved as to why those things are down here, but apparently they just lost their buoyancy. Okay, we'll find out more about them soon enough. So right now we need a place to put our furnace and there's iron ore all the way over here, but I'm thinking we could use another sonar tower on this side to help better determine where we should expand to. And apparently we're on a cliff. There's lots of stuff over here. More light. There's definitely stuff off in the distance, but we're out of the steel required to build a sonar tower to find more steel. So we've got multiple spider crab habitats and one of them is gonna be used to trap. Because part of our cloning research says we need to capture some crabs. Are we gonna make crab people? Oh my gosh, please tell me I get to make crab people clones. So we've captured three different spider crabs. And look, no crew has had to work in darkness for 25 days, even the ones way out here. Let's try to find some resources. Sending the pings. One 
item of ore found. That's not that great. Mostly small deposits. So I think the only way to get reliable iron ore is to go out here. The demand on coal is pretty high, which means we can't light up this tower just yet. We found a sunken plane, which it looks like, is that a Kitty Hawk? That's a World War II era plane. It kind of reminds me of a P-40 Kitty Hawk. Now we can mine these resources out here and eventually explore once we have an exploration sub. But we do need iron ore. Are we mining iron ore anywhere? I guess we have plenty of it still here. Iron is actually maximumed out, so let's put building stockpile. Let's increase their stockpile. And I guess we can put our alloy furnace close enough to home. One of the coal extractor teams has found a coal vein unlike anything they've seen before. Oh man. Do we want to send a crew member down there? Yeah. Sorry buddy, best of luck. They got hurt in the process. Pollution. Pollution meaning the casualty. Mining relay has, which one has no more resources? This one. Well, we can put a relay out here and get to work. I'm gonna put our furnace out here, right on the cliff of our little promontory here. How are we doing on oxygen? Oh, well, we don't, we can't meet demand. And I'm gonna build another light tower right on the edge here so we can finally see what's going on over there. Right at the cliff. Like, could be creepy stuff or it just could be more sand and coral. Once again, we need more power first. Seems power, oxygen, and then everything else can follow in naturally. We have people with respiratory problems. We have people, wait, do we not, are we not producing enough food? We might not be. Oh goodness. So something is in demand. We don't, well, I guess we kind of need coal, but at the same time, we should have enough. I like how this is called the dark glows. How creepy. These are the different areas. There's some volcanic areas, basalt columns, coral reefs, the sunken plains, brine pools. These are all the little locations that we found. O2 upgrade, definitely. And we could improve the oxygen. An outpost helps establish a base in a new area. What? We're gonna get the protein harvester and a hospital. But the issue is we're running out of people. I guess we really do need a cloning vat. That's how I'm gonna get more people. We need to use the crab DNA. Okay, this is not weird or creepy at all. This is fine. This is a normal underwater cloning operation. This is, this is what it looks like. I guess that makes sense. I was expecting more people to come down from the surface, but we definitely need some kind of food. All right, we're starting to produce some better food. We've had to halt pretty much everything. There's no research being done here. The cloning lab though has been constructed. Let's open the genome sequencer, but first we need to find who's gonna work this thing. Hopefully we don't run out of power. I think we ran out of power. <laughs> we'll turn off the research lab, which gives us enough power to run the cloning lab. Now let's, wait, I'm making spider crabs? I don't, generalist? Sequence statistic, generalist, mutations. Okay, yes. This all makes sense to me. I know exactly what I'm doing. We're cloning spider crabs. Excuse me, clone a human using where all genomes. Wait, the spider crabs are gonna be considered generalists? Ooh, I also have an engineer. Nice. We're almost done cloning. Cloning failed. Oh, we can add more spider Spider crab DNA. Now we're using four, which increases our chance of getting a generalist population by 40%. This feels like Jurassic Park, but instead of using frogs to make DNA or to fill in the dinosaur genome, we're using crabs. We're literally making crab people. Now, apparently, if we want to get better at cloning, we're gonna have to find the cloning tech. Faster cloning time would be a great one. Let's unlock that and unlock those two. So now I should be able to add, yeah, there's one other vacant spot. If this one fails, we can at least get our percentage chance of finding success from, um, I believe, 48% to 60%, which is good enough for government work. Can you imagine you're a human sent from the surface to clone people? and you start making crab people. Well, people are sick and we need to get them to a hospital. You think you're sick now, wait till you see your future coworkers. Oh look, whoa, there's spider crabs creeping around on the bottom of the ocean. Hey, we made our first clone. How do I stop this one? Joan Robinson is a f crab person. I need to stop it and uh, increase my spider crab genome. I can collect more animals and use those. 
please power this. We really need it powered. It's got the power lines, so that's not the issue. We'll power down that sonar beacon, and we need this one working. I guess Joan Bradley working the clone operating. There we go. Now we'll be able to get people into the hospital. The first partially successful human clone in almost three years. They have a limited lifespan, so we're gonna need more. Expand the population to 20. Okay, well, you see how we're running out of everything here? We run a tight ship. We made Margaret Bell, crab lady extraordinaire. Welcome to the team. That means I should be able to put them to work. Ano anomaly detected. <gasps> Holy crap, what is that? That was like, uh, it wasn't a Kraken, but it kind of looked like, oh, it's back. What is that? It's got so many arms. I guess it could sort of be a Kraken. Can someone please explain to me what that is? The attack is over for now. We are not alone down here and we're making freaking crab people. So, but in order to get more people, our chance of mutations is relatively high. We need to get more DNA, pump out more people, and find a way to defend this plant from whatever it is that is sharing the abyss with us. Ladies and gentlemen, this is Surviving the Abyss. You can find out more and get the game for yourself using the link in the video description below. If you do want me to continue this series, pull the trigger on the like button and let me know. And thanks to Paradox for sponsoring this video.